Auckland surgeons are now being required to consider patients' ethnicity alongside other factors when deciding who gets operated on first. The Prime Minister says need will always come first, but has told his Health Minister to make sure there's no discrimination. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. When it comes to who waits the longest to get on surgery wait lists, it's Māori and Pacifica. At the moment there is clear evidence Māori, Pacific, rural and low income communities have been discriminated against by the health system. In an attempt to balance inequities, a team of clinicians with Te Whatu Ora has developed what the health system calls an equity adjuster waitlist tool for non-urgent surgeries. The five factors weighed up when prioritising treatment are clinical priority, time spent on the waitlist, geographic location, i.e. whether the patient is isolated, deprivation levels and their ethnicity, specifically Māori and Pacific people. The Association of General Surgeons is uncomfortable with the policy. We feel that it's a little bit simplistic for what is a very complex problem with many underlying contributing factors. The opposition says it's outright racism. Well, it's pretty simple. Race shouldn't play any part in surgical need and determining surgical need, and that's our position. We've got a government that is actually actively promoting racial discrimination now, and it's got to stop. The Prime Minister said clinical need will always come first, but the equity tool is merely writing past wrongs when it comes to inequity. There are four groups of people that I have spoken about, Māori, Pacific, rural and low income. Um, those who are raising concerns only tend to talk about Māori and Pacific people. New South put in calls to numerous Māori health experts today, but were told Māori Dim felt blindsided by this and that it was up to Te Akafai Ora, the Māori Health Authority, to speak to the needs of the policy. We put in requests there too, but instead Te Whatu Ora, the national health body, stepped in. It said in a statement the equity tool was developed to make the health system fairer for everyone and ethnicities and other risk factors could be added in as they're identified. But the Health Minister will be double-checking whether it's discriminatory, just in case. To make sure that there is a reassurance um, that we're not replacing one form of discrimination with another. Because the very last thing the health system needs is to be more discriminatory. Amelia Wade, News Hub.